All right, so let's take a look here at blue-green deployments for code deploy. So in here, you choose the blue-green option, and then you have uh, choosing between the automatically copy EC2 autoscaling group or manually provision instances. You're definitely going to want to choose the first case, and this is what would generally show up on the exam if they do talk about this. Um, and the idea here is if you already have an environment and it's using autoscaling group, you specify it here. It's going to copy that one over, and a new EC2 instance is going to spin up. Code deploy is going to then uh, apply the latest uh, code version and install it using the AppSpec YAML file. And then what it's going to do is shut down the old environment, and, or it's, well, it will shift over the traffic from old to new and then destroy the old, old uh, infrastructure. So let's go through that just again here. So instances are provisioned for the replacement environment. So that could be the auto scaling group being cloned. The latest application revision is installed on the uh, on the replacement instances. So um, if you're using code pipeline, it could be passing um, the, the artifact from the source to code deploy, and then it will install into the correct location. We'll see that in the AppSpec YAML file, and then it'll install from there. An optional wait time occurs for activities such as application testing and system verification. Instances in the replacement environment are registered with an ELB, causing traffic to be rerouted to them. So that's the shift of traffic and instances in the original environment are deregistered and can be terminated or kept running for other uses so people don't always terminate their uh, their old environments right away um, because sometimes you need to debug them or you need to fall back to them in the case of a disaster so it's up to you on that case 